right. The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash, cold, and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain! Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, Barnes, keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find a way out of here. I know. Yeah, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Thanks for 
trouble if we get caught in that. We need to keep moving. Fuck your stupid train! everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Ugh. What do we have here? Rabbits. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black snow. You think we wouldn't notice? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers, a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. 
If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns, <laughs> anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make problems, well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> you done? So... Let's try this again. You gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Save yourself! Oh, no. Wake up, wake up. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Hey there. Come on, we just need to follow the river to get to Hope County. I can't believe what happened. They must have seen the train coming. Should have known better. Those fucking twins, Mickey and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. They said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly or they'd burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to fight. So they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victims, but my mom managed to bring survivors together and we all tried to build a place where we'd be safe. <laughs> 